My name is Wes Gay and I run Wayfinder Consulting and we are a story brand certified agency. Prior to running that, for about two and a half years, I helped people understand and implement the story brand framework in their business, in their church, nonprofit, whatever. And so now as, a, as an agency, we do this at a more holistic level between marketing and sales, customer service, etc. Now I'll get to what that means for you in a minute, but specifically for this, when I think about Easter, the number one thing I think about is my one of my favorite church communications principles that I used to teach and lead with when I worked in church communications, and that's this. Always point to the potty. <laughs> All right. I know you're not supposed to talk about the bathroom, but we're going to talk about the bathroom today. And here's why. Several years ago, I was working at a church in the metro Atlanta area, and it was a First Baptist Church in a southern town. If you know anything about these kinds of churches, they usually have been around a while. This one was founded, I don't know, 1870-something, right? So it had uh, sometimes two and three generations of a family there. We had people in their 80s who had never, ever attended church anywhere else since they were born. We had people who had been there 10 years, 20 years, 40 years, the whole thing. So we had a lot of people who should know a lot about our church. There was one Sunday in particular where I was surprised at what somebody didn't know. I'm standing in the balcony. I think it was between services. We had two services. And I'm up in the balcony area where the production stuff was because that was part of my role. And a longtime church member came over and said something along the lines of, um, I need to use the restroom. And I said, great, it's just right over there. They said, what? And they start walking downstairs. I said, why are you walking downstairs? It's like 25 feet from where we're standing. He had no idea there was a restroom in the balcony. He also had no idea, and the crazy thing was, he sat in the balcony every single week for months, years, decades. I mean, he knows how long this guy had been in the balcony because this balcony had been around since the 1960s. Now, what blew me away is that he didn't know it was there. But then when I started to think about it through his eyes, how would he have known? There was no sign hanging from it. There was nothing on the wall pointing to it. There was, I don't even think there was anything on the door that really even indicated it was a restroom, right? So what I remember then, and what I still try to think about to this day, even in my own work with clients, is this. Never assume anything and always go over the top to communicate everything. Because I don't know anybody who's going to be annoyed that we say too many times where the restrooms are or that we point out where to park for people in our Easter communication, or that we tell people what time our service is, or that we tell people the address. You'd be amazed how many people don't physically know where your church is, even if it's in a high traffic area. This church, same church where I just told the story from, we were at the intersection of the two busiest roads in our town. And we're outside of Atlanta, is what's called a bedroom community. So a lot of people lived in our town, but commuted in to work in Atlanta. Well, they had to drive by our church every day to get there, and people still didn't know where it was. So we had to be really explicit about the address. We had to be really explicit about service times and where to park, and we had to be really clear about where to go. When you're thinking about your Easter communications plan, once you draft it out, once you draft that website and you're really excited about it, once you um, write that mailer you're going to send out, once you get a design done for your digital billboard, once you create your Facebook ads, whatever it is, stop and think, who's going to read this? Are they a guest? Are they a member? Doesn't matter. When they're reading this, what is it they really need to know? What they really need to know is where your church is located, what time your services are, where to park what door to come in when they park. They need to know what to do with their kids, what to expect. They don't need to know the history of your church. They don't care that the, I don't know, your children's hallway is blue because a pastor in the 1950s used blue ink in his fountain pen. Nobody cares. Nobody cares about your cute and clever themes. Nobody cares about all that stuff. What they need to know are the basics. Nobody wants to know anything other than the basic critical information. Although I will say for Easter, make sure you're communicating about Jesus. Two years ago, working with Justin Dean in that church conference, and I wrote a post for him about Easter and marketing, and we created kind of a wireframe template that you can use to build a better web page. And I remember looking at some of the biggest churches in the country, and I was amazed at how many of them didn't have uh, location information for their different campuses, which imagine how confusing that is to have one church with the same name with a bunch of locations. They didn't have a way to find locations. They didn't tell me what services started when. They didn't tell me any of that stuff. Instead, uh, they would say things like, I am, and you're just like, I, I am, I'm what? I am Spartacus? Like, what am I? I mean, the reality is, I know, having gone to seminary, that's from John and the seven I am statements of Jesus. 
But people coming to a church website aren't trying to get a Bible study. They're wanting to know what time do you start, where do I park, and what should I expect. So always think how can you go above and beyond as to where to go. Now I say this point to the potty. Think about when you go to an airport, when you go to a mall, when you go to a restaurant, etc. They all will point to where the restrooms are. They go over and above, have a sign over kind of the hallway where it is. They may have arrows pointing to it. They'll have signs on the door. Sometimes you'll go to a, a Mexican restaurant or whatever, and they'll have a different graphic or a different word, and you're confused. But they try to tell you where those things are. When it comes to your communications for Easter, most people, including your regular attenders, simply don't know the things you know. They haven't sat in your staff meetings. They haven't been in your com email conversations. They haven't been in Slack or your project management tool or your Facebook groups or whatever. They're clueless. They've maybe been there 20 years and they don't know where the restroom is. So it's your job simply to tell them. Ultimately, the clearer we are and the easier we make it for people to show up and know where to sit, what to do with their kids and what to expect, we can now remove the barriers and the uncertainty so that people are more likely to commit. You and I don't make purchasing decisions when we're confused or we're uncertain of, of what we're buying or what we're getting in return. Instead, we are more likely to buy something when we are confident, when things are clear, and we understand what we're getting as a result for paying somebody money. Same thing is true on Easter. When I give you my time on that Sunday and fight through traffic and go through the parking lot, make that as easy as possible for me so that all the distractions and the frustrations and the confusion is gone, allowing you and your team and your staff and your worship team and everybody else to point more people to Jesus. Because when we eliminate confusion of the basic communication stuff, it frees up brain power for us to really think about the joy of Easter. So that's my reminder for you today, and that is point to the potty. Always make things unbelievably clear, especially for the people you think already know everything. Because once you make that assumption, you will almost every time be wrong. You'll miss an opportunity to make things easier for people, and ultimately you're going to waste their brain power on things that don't really matter, keeping them from being able to think on things that have eternal impact.